spell red. Red. L S T E R. This video is seven things I love about my Hyundai Genesis Coupe 2.0. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing that I love about my my Jenny is the ride height. Like, look at how low that is. So like, the ride height I'm at right now, I honestly think is it's like perfect. I do have to angle everywhere I go, like in any driveways, drive-throughs, um, any speed bumps around here. And I live in Connecticut, so we got pretty shitty roads. Um, but I think like for where I live and how I drive, because this is my daily driver. Um, so everything I do, do with the car. This is like the perfect ride height. All right, so the next thing I like about my car, or that I love about my car, is actually inside, so let's go. And that is, it's a manual. Way well, yeah, back to this, so it is a manual. Got that third pedal. And like this was the main thing I wanted with the Jenny. Like it was kind of like in my requirements for getting one of these cars that had to be manual. But uh, when I got the car, I had only driven and barely dri barely driven manual like once or maybe two times before. And that was in my friend's, uh, what was it? E46 330CI. But you know, when I, when I had gotten the car, um, I was actually on a stage three comp clutch and I was struggling with this car to even like move it in a parking lot it was horrible for me. Maybe two weeks to really get the hang of taking off. Um, I was still terrible, like on hills and stuff, but no, it was fun. It was fun to learn. All right, so the fact that the car is manual, that was like my big requirement when I was looking for a Gen. Um, I really only wanted a manual Gen. So the third thing that I like about my car is uh, just how like clean it is. I'm more of a like stock body is the best way to go. Um, but yeah, no, nah, so just like the simplicity of what I'm doing to it, nothing crazy. Um, like soon I am gonna paint match and redo how to remount the side skirts. I'm also gonna be paint matching the front lip sometime soon. Um, I did just order a paint match um, color for the car. And so right now, like all I really need to do to like, like really clean up the front end is just, just get another bumper because the bumper tabs are broken um all the bumper clips they're broken too so i need the like the, the mounting clips on the back side of the bumper like uh, like that's mounted on the car itself um i need that i have like i got a crack like right behind that bezel where one of the mounting um like tabs is broken um i do want to like clean up that cut line that was made because I have a, a turbo excess intercooler on the car um, and it's huge but uh, this side too like some of the clips they're just not in fully um, right here you can see where the bumper sags because the uh, like the back clips are kind of broken but other than that just like the simplicity of how I'm making I'm like modifying the car cosmetically is like a big thing for me yeah, now so look here's a side view of the car um it does look pretty simple i got a little tasteful mods on it so like the side skirts discontinued well, i'm pretty sure they're like just ebay ones 
Um, these are actually on the car when I first got it. I did decide to keep them because they do look pretty clean. They go along with like the body lines of the car too. So, but they are, they do need to be like remounted. Um, I want to paint the like main section of it from like here to here, but then where it does that little winglet split kind of thing, I want to paint that gloss, gloss black. So I'll be doing that on both sides, of course. I have this roof spoiler um, that I did recently too. Um, got the front lip, spec D headlights, MS front grill. Um, well, yeah, like cosmetics wise, it's pretty simple, it's pretty clean. So, the fourth thing I love about my Jenny is the fact that it had an option for two different engines and like three different like sub models or trims or whatever, I guess. Um, so you had the 3.8 V6 and the two liter four banger turbo. Pretty nice if you ask me. Um, it's not too expensive of a car or a sports car to get into. Um, it's kind of like in between that time range of like not too much electronics in it, but still like kind of like a, a bare kind of car you know like if you know what i mean but yeah so we have the uh, r spec and the track they came with the brembo brakes and an lsd it's a two-door coupe you know rear wheel drive had two engine options and you can find them for like under seven thousand in the five thousand range i got mine for only four and mine needed just a little bit of work i honestly probably spent only like 200 250 kind of fixing the car it wasn't that expensive it was pretty simple stuff too it was like sensors and fuses that were bad um leaky gaskets but nothing like that you can't do on your own all right on to uh reason number five that i love the car and it's actually just the attention it grabs i always asking like how you even over speed bumps and i'm like just watch <laughs> but nah, uh, like i'm always getting questions on like oh what kind of car is this i've never seen this before what is it i do get asked all the time if it's a tiburon <laughs> that one's kind of annoying uh, i've been asked if this was a brz um but yeah, no, so it, it's nice i do get a lot of attention um sometimes i get it from from older people like with my old job i would see a lot of older people coming by and they would always stop and ask me like, what is this? And like, it, it's beautiful. Um, and then like, when, when I tell them what it is, I'm like, oh no, it's, it's a Hyundai. And they're like, a Hyundai? Like what? Everyone's like reaction towards the car is always positive. I've never had like a negative opinion or, or anyone saying anything negative about the car to me in person. Um, but you know, it's, it's fun. It's a little slow but it's fun now number six we're going back to the back of the car um and again we're talking about the exhaust um i don't want to get too into it but it is just three inch turbo back exhaust that i have i still have a primary like a high flow cat on the car right now so that my check engine isn't on and so that i'm not you know riding around with catless or riding around catless, like fully catless, without being tuned, because you don't want to introduce like all that boost like earlier than the car is ready for, um, because now you're allowing more flow. There's like less back pressure, so it'll the boost will kind of be a little weird. But um, I do have a can tune for the car. I have to put on my. Catless O2 housing, but I first need to go get the third sensor bung welded on so that I could have, you know, an AFR reading on on the car at all times. But yeah, so I do have the ISR single exit catback exhaust. And the seventh, seventh thing, going back to sound, would have to be the turbo. The fact that it's turbo is like my actually no that's a, that's my most favorite thing about the car the fact that it's turbo um 
because like even though it's a small turbo that belongs on like a lawnmower or something it, when it kicks on you feel it feels good it does fall off on the top end but like this thing is so fun you don't really need to be flying with this car anyways it's not that fast um but it is like it's got a little kick to it so like on back roads it stays in full boost like all the time um like this car handles really nicely too so for the back roads it is fun and but um i do have a block off plate on the turbo right now along with the uh, hks blow off valve but i have the blow off valve closed so that all you hear is turbo flutter and i think honestly the turbo got a little bit louder after i put the block off plate on but yeah so it, it is still stock turbo um super tiny td04 but yeah so like like even when i start the car up in the morning like at idle you hear the turbo just spooling the whole time and it's it's insane but uh yeah so that's the end of the video that was the seven things i love on my 2011 hyundai genesis 2.0 t uh, next video so i'll be posting a uh everything that i've done to the car so far and like build plans with it so yeah stay tuned for the next video hopefully this can like persuade some of you into getting one of these cars they are fun like you can't hate on it until you give it a chance but yeah no, so like this was the seven things i love about my genesis coupe so see you in the next video